is the difference between accessible radiation and maximum permissible exposure? It's pretty simple. Accessible radiation is the point where the laser can be accessed, the least point where it can be accessed, which is exactly here at the front window of the laser. The maximum permissible exposure is the intensity the laser maximum may have and the area where audience, people or animals can be hit by the laser. But there is a huge difference because accessible radiation is usually full power or at least full power here at that point. But in the far distance where the power is distributed over a large area by scanning, by creating patterns, figures or stuff, the power is by far not that intense as it is here. So it's always necessary if you consider laser safety assessments that you do not get irritated by the terms AR or MPE because AR is here and MPE is far over there. Sometimes authorities require you to fill in paperwork and put all the specifications of the lasers in there to make a safety assessments from their desk which is pretty difficult to do, basically cannot be done at all. But they want to do it, so they ask you for figures of the laser. Usually they ask what's the maximum power of the laser. The maximum power of the laser basically is the AR, what's coming out here. But for our shows, for laser shows, this is not the figure to be considered, because we have safety features inside the unit that prevent having the power level here over there in the audience. So it's always a good idea to, to note that in your application forms, in your paperwork to say, okay, at the unit we have full power. This is the specified power by the manufacturer. But over there in the audience, there's a much reduced power and we consider the regulations and the power in the audience area does not exceed MPE level. Why is there often a misunderstanding with authorities? The thing is that authorities usually have to deal with industrial laser applications or medical laser applications or something like that. Industrial laser applications usually require the full power of the laser. So they try to get the full power in a very thin beam. They even focus the beam to weld or to cut or to melt things. So it's always the full power they want to use. In the show laser industry it's different because we don't use the full power of the laser but we try to make nice effects and thus we distribute the power of a large area. So the, the danger of the laser is much much reduced to an industrial application for example. But the utmost use of lasers basically is industrial or for medical applications so uh, authorities usually refer to this kind of applications and all the safety assessment is focused on this. So it's often necessary to explain to authorities that our lasers, our show laser applications, all the laser shows are not as dangerous as they think they might be just from the desk. Because the figures they get, it's a laser class 4, let's say 4, 5, 6, 10 watt power oh my god it's so dangerous. No it's not because it's up there 30 meters high and there's a long distance until it hits the audience and the beam widens up, the patterns are scanned and nobody gets the, the, the full power laser in their eyes. So this is the basic difference and sometimes it, need, it needs explanation. So it's always important to understand what's the AR, the accessible radiation here and the MPE power we have over there in the audience. Usually the MPE must not exceed laser class 2 so if you want to audience scan you must ensure that the lasers over there in the audience, the laser beams, the laser effects do not exceed laser class 2 which is not that of a big problem because any software in the market supports safety zones or beam attenuation.